Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello crafters. Today I'm going to show you how I make these. They're glue pin jewellery toppers and I use them in all my different liquid adhesives. Normally we would just put a little pin in the top but I find I lose them really easy on my craft table when I'm in the middle of crafting. I do have a video that I posted about six months ago. It shows you how I made these beaded um, glue pin toppers and I'll leave a link to that down below. But I recently picked up these beads here in my local pound shop. Um, it's called Mr. Price here in Ireland. And um, so I made these ones using the beads that I have and this is just when I go into a stationery shop or craft shop and I see a little bag of beads I just pick them up and I throw them in there they're all in there and all mixed I have the little um these seed beads as well here as well as these plastic beads these are making bracelets for little girls in you know primary school but I think they make lovely glue pin toppers and you can see there I have my little pin for putting in and um, they work lovely because they're flat. They're nice and easy to hold on to when you're taking the pin out of the bottle. So not only do I have a different selection of beads, etc. You can make them with whatever you like. I also have some other little things. I have these are called fixings. They're for jewellery. They're for making um earrings etc you get the round headed ones and you get these little flat tipped ones i got these on amazon and i'll leave links to what i can down below that's available and i use those for um the pin itself so this one here is the straight pin and you can see them this is them here they're nice long ones in the bag and i just take a little seed bead added one of these and then another seed bead at the end now you can get a glue um you know like a super glue or a really strong glue and glue them onto your pins um which is what i have done for these ones here i used the super glue to glue the bead onto the pin itself but for these ones i have just used hot glue so i have my hot glue gun there with my glue stick um, and that's what I use on them and they work just as well um, for gluing things off and then if you have a little bit of glue on there like what I have I'll just get a nice little scissors or craft knife and cut the ex excess off but really when you're using it you know it doesn't it doesn't bother or affect it now you can use um, to put your beads on you can use lengths of chain you can use um, the pins that we have in these two or you can use wire you can get all different gauge wire this one is a 0.5 millimeter gauge wire you can get lovely thin um, 0.2 and 0.3 gauge wire but I have to say what I got the last time um, that I was in the crafty shop is this it's like knicker elastic and it's really it's lovely and fine and thin and they come in different thicknesses I hope you can see there the white one is thicker than the green one and the green one is thicker than the blue one so I find them lovely and again they're like what you get in those little kids kits for the kids but I find they make a lovely you know that way if it kind of gets caught on something there's a bit of elastic a bit of movement in it I've also got these here these are little eyelets you can see them they're the little rounds and then on the other side it has the lobster claw which is this little thing here now i'm going to put them down here i think you'll see them better on the purple there so i just find with my pins i can when i make them up i make them up onto 
the lobster claw. That way I can take it off this one and I can then take this one and I can put it onto a different bead or onto a different pin and it just clips on like so. And that way then I can change them up so instead of having the love heart one in there I can have my star one in there. And the same with these ones as well. I can take this one off here and swap it around or change it up if I want. And I just find that if the pin got very bent or it got damaged, I can just throw this part away, take the bead off it, but I can throw this part away and I don't have to get rid of this part, you know. So hence the reason why I use the little lobster claws on mine. So what I do is I make up my little jewellery piece and then I make up my pin separately and that way then I can add on this piece to my pin. So I can chop and change. You can see there I have this one onto this. I could take this off now and I can add it onto my little stars like so. I've got some stars on there and I can add that into my accent glaze and then I can take this one pop my little love heart pin in there and then I can add this onto that and there we go so you can chop and change you know your little pins or whatever so I'm going to show you how I made these ones because they're different to these ones, which I've already showed you how I made before in a previous video. And um, yeah, let's go ahead now and make our glue pins using some wooden beads and some of our um, crafty blitz, um, lovely little plastic shaped ones. So keep an eye when you're in the shop, you know, even the stuff for the kids you can use in your crafting okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to make our string and then we'll make our little pin so I'll move these out of the way I'm going to pop on my hot glue because that's what I'm going to use to attach it it works fine there's no fear I'm going to glue my fingers together because that's always a fear with me <laughs> it can happen let me tell you so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my pin and I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to get everything out that I want. Now, if you see there, that pin is very bent, but it's OK if you just run your fingers along it, add a little bit of pressure. And there you go. Look, it's grand and straight again. So when you get a bent pin, and quite a few of them are in there, they've got bends on them. Don't try to bend them the opposite way. Just run your fingers up and down along the pin the way I did there. So we have our pin. Now I'm going to take out some of my beads. And then we'll look at some of the tools that you can use as well. So for this one, I think I will use the purple. I might do this for my daughter, Alicia, in the Netherlands. And her favourite colour is purple. So I think we'll have this as our piece up here. And I want to add a little, you can see there, I have my little beads at the top and bottom to hold it in place. So we'll leave this one here for reference so we can see how we're going to go along. So I'm going to bring in these seed beads here. And let's have a look what color would go nicely with the purple. I like that blue. Yeah, we could go with the white. No, I like that blue color because there's hints of purple in there. So we'll take two of those little beads for the top and bottom of that. And that's all we need for that one. And then for this one, now we can use, in this one we have used some wooden beads and some glass beads. So we'll 
have a look now. So for our strings, I think I'll use the blue. And what I like to do is cut off a length of the string. We really don't want it too long, but we want to give ourselves enough that we can cut off the excess. So there's our length and we'll cut that now into two. So, and then we'll have a look at our beads. So I'm going to speed up going through the process of choosing which beads because for a finish, you know, I'm going to choose different ones, but I like to take out some and have an idea of what I'd like and get my color palette down, but I will chop and change it. Now I have some little handmade these are just little um, pieces that I get and I love to add them onto the bottom. You can see on this one I have a handmade with love. So you can keep all these little things and add them on. I'm going to put a little handmade. I have those lovely little angels in this one as well. And I put the little angel on this one with the little heart. So now I want to choose my little wooden beads to go between my plastic shaped beads. And this part really is up to yourself and what you have. So I'm just going to go through showing you all the different little pieces I pick out. How I like to kind of give a run through first, see how it's going to look and then go from there before I start stringing everything. So then once I have all my little beads and everything taken out and I have everything the way I feel I will want it on my string, then I can go ahead and I can add to that. Now I'm also going to take out some of the little jump rings as well as some chain that I have. And these little pliers, I'm sure there's a very special name for them, but they're just for opening and closing your jump rings. And like I said, I leave links to the, in the description below. I got a little set and it's all the different um, pliers and tweezers and everything that you need. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm using. So I'm just looking at the one I have made and taking, um, you know, inspiration from that and what I'll be doing next. So I'm happy now with the beads I have chosen and next we're going to string them. Now I do keep a little pokey tool hand, handy because some of the wooden beads, they mightn't have been, um, you know, the hole in there properly. So the, the little pokey tool or a weeding tool for when you're doing the vinyl, that's what that hooked one. It looks like a dental one is there and that works a treat. So it's a matter then of stringing it through the bead. I like to tie two or three knots on my string and then hide those knots inside another bead. And sometimes I will use my hot glue between one bead and the next just to secure the knot and to hide it. And once I'm happy then with all my little beads and my little hearts and everything on, I'll again do another loop. I'll add a jump ring to that and then feed that back through the bead that's next to it. So it's all just a matter of stringing everything on and then hiding where you have your knots. And that's generally inside the bead. So you can see there I have the jump ring on. It's kind of hard to show you this because it's so close you know I've got the jump ring on I have fed the string back through the bead before the jump ring I've tied my knots and then I'm just going to hide them within the ring and I'm keeping my little string nice and tidy as well not leaving any frayed bits to be poking out so there you can see my little first string of beads that we have here and now I'm going to go ahead and do that with the next one so let's go through this now a little slower. So I have my um, elasticated string. I'm putting through a little seed bead. Then I'm stringing on my little angel. Then I'm going to fold that back over and put the end of that back through my little bead. 
So this can be a little bit fiddly to do by hand. But once that's back over now, we've got a loop and that's going to keep our angel at the bottom. Then I tie that off a couple of times and you'll see me here. I should have left myself a little bit longer of the the elasticated string, but I, I left it a bit tight. So I'm having to be mean here with what I'm tying a knot in. But I've got my two knots there and I'm happy with that. I'm pulling the knots tightly because I don't want them to become undone. Once I have that done, then I can take another little bead and I can add that on top. So I'm going to take my little plastic heart bead here and feed that in. Feed that up through and then I'm going to get that tail and I'm going to put that in with it as well. Now, if I pull on the elastic and as well, keep the tip of that little piece there nice and even, it'll go right through the bead for me. The opening is just big enough to cater to the two in there. So it's a little bit fiddly for me, but I will get there. Now I'm, I'm, not happy with that it just didn't look right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little wooden bead and i'm going to put that one on instead now i'm keeping it real i'm not editing out anything with this string here i want to show you how i go through it and how i make it happen and i can see that the hole is that little bit bigger than what was on the heart so again i'm just going to pull on that and see if i can thread this through so if you haven't cut yours so short, you'll be able to thread that through no problem. But I do get there in the end. I'll cut off that little frayed bit at the end there. And I found that was the trick with working with the elasticated string to keep the end that you're working with, the end that you're feeding through your beads, keep them nice and tidy. Now, once I've that done, I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue. And the reason for that is it's going to glue the end of that string into my bead. Now I can put on my heart. And again, I'm going to string that from the bottom up through. And then that will sit there on that bead. And where I have the little bit of hot glue, my little heart then will tip into that. So now I'm happy enough with that. I just hadn't put enough little glue onto the a wooden bead that you can see there. So I'm going to add another little tiny bit of um, the hot glue just under where my heart is. That stuff is hot, <laughs> believe you me. Um, and then I can push the tip of the heart down into the wooden bead. And then once I've that done, I can just take off any of the little excess that leaked out or any of the little strings. It's so easy to tidy up the hot glue. And um, <laughs> I find the glue is hot, yes, so you can get the little silicone finger things, but I prefer not to use them. But my the glue isn't hot enough to burn me. It's just very, very warm. <laughs> so once I'm happy with that and I'm just faffing, taking off the little glue strings there, I'm really pleased with how the um, little angel has been treaded on to our wooden bead and our little purple heart, my little tail where the knot is, that's all hidden inside the wooden bead. So now I'm going to add a little seed bead on over the heart. Then I'm going to take the next little one and I'm going to add another little bead on the top of that because I want it to be similar to the first string I've done but I still like to have them a little bit different. So each string is a little bit different, but they are all pulling together the same kind of beads. Um, you know, so there's a continuity between the two. So I'm picking out now the next ones. I've got my little blue star on. I'm going to put a little blue bead on top of that. Then I'm going to put another little purpley blue seed bead above that. So I've got my angel a seed bead, I've got a little wooden bead, I've got my purple heart, then I've got a seed bead, I've got a little plastic blue bead, 
then I've got my plastic star bead, then another little blue bead, a seed bead, and then my purple heart. Now to finish that, I'm going to use two round wooden beads. And you can see here, I'm just checking to see how nicely the two are going to sit together. I want them to nestle together when they're set, you know, with the pin in the bottle. So I'm making sure that when they're hanging down, they're going to hang nicely together. So I'm going to add two beads now on top. One bead, this top bead, will actually be bigger than the bead that I've on the string. So I'm looking at it and I'm going, yeah, that little bead there is fine. But I'm going to add another one on top of that. And it's a bigger one again. So I'll pop that one through. Now I'm going to add my jump ring onto that. And this is where I should have left myself enough of the elasticated string. So I'm stringing on my little jump ring. I'm going to tie a knot on my jump ring. And then I'm going to, once I have my knots on that, I'm then going to feed the tail back through my beads. Now I can do this because the beads are wide enough that the opening on them that I can feed my tails, my tail back through it. And then I'll be able to add a little glue. Now what you could do is you can feed it through the ring, then feed your tail through the beads and then tie a knot. So really it's up to yourself. I've just done it this way because I didn't have an awful lot of elastic there and it would make it easier for me. So now I'm just threading the knotted jump ring. I'm threading the tail that's left over back through my bead. And you, I'm sorry I'm off screen there. I was so busy <laughs> looking at what I was doing. I didn't keep an eye to make sure you could see. But you can see there I have the little tail it's fed through the top bead. I'm going to add a little glue to that and then I'm going to secure the bead that's next to that one, the smaller one. I'm pushing that up and I'm joining those two beads together. So the tail and the knot are encased in those two beads and they're covered in the hot glue. And again, I have a little hot glue string there. I'll just pull that off and then I can just you know shimmy up my beads and there we go we have a lovely little string <laughs> so there's our two strings to go onto our pin now what i like to do is take a little bit of chain and i'm going to thread each of my strings onto the chain so i'll have my little jump ring and what i will do is i can open my jump ring and then i can thread that onto one of the links in my chain and the links on the chain can be as long or as short as you like so at the end of this chain I'm threading it through my jump ring and then I will twist to open the jump ring don't pull your jump rings apart we twist them to open them and then I twist it back to close it now I have another jump ring on the end of this um, length of chain and it's about an inch and a half long all together and I'm going to put the other string at the other end and again I'm using the jump ring that we put on the end of our string I'm opening that putting that onto the length of our chain and then I have my two so now I can decide where I want my little pin I'm going to decide where I want that so there's our two strings and I'm delighted with that now. Looks great. Happy out. I just want to see where they are going to sit nicely so I can choose which link in my chain I'm going to add another jump ring to. So I'll thread through my jump ring on another link and then as that's open, I'm going to add on my little claw piece. So there's my little claw. I'm going to add that onto my jump ring and then I'm going to twist and close that jump ring. Now you can use one tool and your fingers or you can use the other one. I want to make sure that it's closed properly. So I'm just pressing it up against the head of the other um, one that I have there to ensure that it's all closed and nice. And I love this. I'm delighted with it. 
Now it's kind of sitting a little funny there, but it's just because it was a little bit caught. But once I kind of released the bead, you know, pulled on the string a little bit, that worked perfect. So now I need to do my pin. I need to put my little purple star on my pin and my seed beads. So first thing I'm going to do is add one seed bead and that's going to go up and sit next to the loop on our pin. I add a little bit of hot glue there and then I'm going to push up my seed bead to the very top and it'll get secured in place by the hot glue. Any little extra bits of hot glue once it's cooled, I'll take them off. Now I'm going to thread through my little star. And again, I'm going to add some hot glue onto the barrel of the pin. Not too much now, just a little bit, but enough to secure it. And I'll push that up through again. So it's pushed up against the seed bead and the excess glue is gluing our star to the barrel of the pin as well as that bottom seed bead and again then we'll add another little bit of glue right onto the barrel of the pin and once i have that done and it's taken me a little if a couple of seconds because i'm being very mean with this glue i can then push up the bottom seed bead and i'm going to give that a little while to set for my glue my hot glue to go cold and then once that's done, I can fiddle and faddle with it, just taking off any little extra strings, etc. So I'm just checking my beads along here, making sure everything is secure, that I have no little hot glue strings or anything like that where they don't need to be. And I'm just picking them off. It's as simple and as easy as that to do. And then we can add that to our little um, pin, our glue pin. So I can just open the claw now and I can connect that to the loop, the top of our little fixing. And there we go. We have a glue pin topper or a glue pin jewelry topper or a glue pin stopper or a glue stopper, whatever you want to call it. There's loads of names for it. And I'm delighted with that. I love it. And I think the colors go really well with the made to surprise accent glaze that I have there. So that's lovely. I'm delighted with that. Now you could be finished there. You're done. You're happy out. But I want to add a little extra to this string. I'm going to personalize it. And as it's for my daughter, Alicia, I have some of these little beads and each bead has a letter and there's some there that have hearts and everything. So I have everything picked out now. I'm going to first off thread through one of the seed beads. Then I have my little tail there and I'm going to I'm taking a nice long piece of string and I'm going to cut off now how much I need. So I'm threading one end through my little wooden bead and the hole there wasn't properly cut out in manufacturing. So I'm using my little weeding tool there. So I'll put one end through my little bead and then I'm going to take the other end which has my little seed bead in the middle and I'm going to pop that through as well. So this will loop the seed bead at the bottom of that little wooden bead and that's our little starting point because I didn't want to tie a knot at the bottom of the seed bead and then you know thread that onto it. So this way it'll hide our knot all that you'll see at the bottom after the wooden bead is our little seed bead. So we're going to do the same thing again now. I'm going to tie two or three knots. And then once I have that done, I can trim off the tail. So I have the tail trimmed off now. I'm going to add a little bit of glue there to the very bottom. And then I have a little heart bead threaded through. And I'm going to glue that on to my little wooden bead so those two now are stuck together and that way it'll hide my little tail that's in there on the bead and then it's just a matter of threading through all the little letters for Alicia's name and then once I have those on I can then put my little bead on 
and I've started this with a bead that has a little heart on it and then I can finish that with a bead that has a heart on it. So that'll be a little heart Alicia heart. So I'm happy enough now with that. I'm just having a look through. I didn't have a white one with the letter I on it, so I had to go for a silver one, but she won't mind that at all. I've since actually been up to my local Mr. Price, seeing that they had packets of these beads with the letters on them. And it's a pack with three packets in it. So I picked up some of them because I was running out of some of the letters. So now I'm going to put on another little wooden bead. I'm looking at it for size against my two strands that I've already done. And I'm going to put a little bead on there. Then I'm going to add a seed bead. Because I have a seed bead at the very bottom or the start of our strand. So I want to add another seed bead in here. Then I've got my little wooden bead and I'm just keeping my end there trimmed nicely so I have a nice um, point there so it'll feed through much nicer. Then once I've that done I'm going to add my jump ring in here. So I'm going to cut off the excess on my um, elasticated string which I've done there. I edited that faffing out. I'm going to tie a knot around my jump ring can see there and I've added two knots there I'm then going to shorten the tail and pop that back through that bigger wooden bead then I'll take my hot glue add a bit of hot glue in there and then I'm going to stick the bead below it onto that one and I'm sorry again I'm off screen I'm just I'm useless aren't I <laughs> and there you can see our seed bead is glued um, to the bottom of that larger bead so now I want to turn my jump ring around because I'm going to open that. And again, I'm twisting the jump ring so that I can add that on to our string there, our chain. Actually, we're going to add it on. So it's just a matter now of deciding where along the chain I want to add that in. And then once I'm happy with that, then I can close over the jump ring. And I'm just twisting that back on itself to close it over. And normally when I'm doing this, I have my overhead light, which has um, a magnifying glass in it. But because I was video recording this, I wasn't able to look through it. <laughs> so there's a lot of faffing that I did, what I couldn't see, that I ended up editing out. So I hope you don't mind. But there is our personalised glue pin topper for Alicia using our plastic little beads as well as our wooden beads and our seed beads. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. If you enjoyed the tutorial, you can give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. There's a little um, icon down below in the description. It's a thanks button. And if you click on that, you're able to leave a little donation. This is new to the channel. It will help me to actually purchase more stuff that I can then share with you on the channel. I'll also have links to my Etsy shop down below. So if you would like to purchase one of these rather than make one, then if you go to Blonde Cards on Etsy, again, I'll leave a link to that down below. You'll be able to purchase one that I might have up there that you'd like. I really hope that you've enjoyed my video. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe and bye for now.